Hey, it's Alex. Today we're talking about Fujifilm's Provia 100F slide film. Fujifilm Provia 100F is a color reversal or slide film designed for development in the E6 process. It's available in 35mm, 120, 4x5 and even 8x10 formats. It has an ISO of 100, which is kind of on the higher end of what you can get with slide film these days. Color reversal film or slide film is markedly different from your typical color negative film, which is what most people are familiar with, in that instead of a negative image where you have to flip the colors either in the printing or scanning process, you actually get a final image right there in front of you and it's pretty magical the first time you see them. So this is going to be one of my my first roll videos where I talk about film stocks where I've only shot them in a very limited capacity and I don't feel comfortable labeling the videos as a full review as such. So I shot this roll of film on 35mm format in my old Nikon F100 that I don't have anymore, almost exclusively with the 24-70mm to f2.8 which I also don't have anymore. I do need to say that I shot this film in August last year on a staycation to County Clare with my family. This was a permitted intranational, if you want to call it that, holiday at the time. This was perfectly in line with the government guidelines about COVID-19 at the time. The situation is much worse here now, but at the time this was completely allowed, so just bear that in mind, okay? Given that so few people print pictures nowadays, never mind have a projector set up to broadcast them by shining them up on the wall, you have to wonder why anyone would actually shoot slide film. And there are a few reasons for that which we'll get into, both good and bad. So the pros of the film. Firstly, this film is incredibly sharp. Oh my god. Even at apertures that are suboptimal for the lenses I was using, it's just, it's beautiful. It's incredibly finely detailed. Two. Compared to Velvia, it's dirt cheap. It's like 20 to 25% less expensive than Velvia around here. And I kind of prefer it to Velvia. I think it's more versatile because Velvia is so intense and over the top. Number three, on that note, Velvia is very, very punchy and contrasty and the colors are extremely saturated. And if you don't want that as your go-to day-to-day look, Provia is going to be more versatile because it's you know, the colors are very powerful. There's a lot of contrast, but it's not quite as strong as with Velvia. So it's a bit more generally usable. The cons. Numero uno. This film has a very strong purple cast, no matter what light you shoot it in. And that's just part of the way the film renders. I mean, I don't know if there is a cast with Velvia. I haven't really studied it that much in any detail because I don't really plan to shoot it. But Provia has this kind of purplish cast. Ektachrome has a bluish cast, you know, that's just part of the way the film renders. And if you don't like that, that is a con. I don't really mind it, but I wouldn't shoot it day to day. Thus, even if this film is a lot cheaper than Velvia, it's still expensive. I mean, it's the same price as, as Ektachrome around here. It's about 20 euros per roll in 35mm and 15 or so euros in 120. That's still a lot more expensive than even the expensive color negative films like Portra 400. And development is a whole other issue. For me, it costs me €3.50 for a, a roll of 120 or 35 millimeter color negative film to be developed. On the other hand, E6 development for slide film is €11 Euros per roll. So it is a lot more expensive to shoot slide film than it is to shoot color negative, and you have to factor that in. Trace. You have to call this a con, and it is part of the challenge and the reward of shooting slide film, but you have a very, very narrow dynamic range. You have to nail your exposure, your latitude, even being more than a stop over or under, your shot's probably dead if it's remotely high contrast. I mean, that's part of the fun of shooting slide film. If you get it right, it's rewarding, but it is difficult to shoot with in that regard and I didn't get a lot of usable shots out of my first roll of it that's just the way it is. I think it's a good introduction to slide film. This or ectochrome would be perfectly fine. I wouldn't really recommend starting with Velvia unless you know that that's exactly what you want because it is so in your face but yeah it, both of those two films stocks are cheaper than Velvia so I'd say just pick whichever one where you prefer the the overall color cast whether that's blue or purple depending on what you shoot or where you want to shoot it.
Overall, I recommend the film. It was very fun to shoot. The purple cast worked with a lot of these shots. Not all of them as you've seen, but a lot of them it came out quite nicely, especially that Cliffs of Mower shot. It was just my favorite shot of the entire trip. I've printed that up at an A0 size from that frame and it's beautiful. I mean, there's just so much detail packed into a single frame. It is challenging to shoot slide film and that's part of the fun, I think. I mean, like the same idea as shooting color negative film in the first place, not getting your shot back instantly. That instant gratification of digital just isn't there. It's taken to another level with slide film. Like with most color negative films or black and white films, you can just vaguely get your exposure right and get a usable image, but you have to really be on your game with the slide film. And that's, that's really, really rewarding. I keep saying that, but it's true. Like of all of the shots I've taken, I've taken better shots. I've taken more popular shots, shots that are technically more impressive. But some of these shots just mean a lot more to me because I know that I got the exposure perfect in camera in a complex scene in the real world outside of a studio. And that just means a lot to me. So this has been the first, my first role video. Uh, if you like it, let me know. If you have any particular film stocks you think I should look at next, then let me know in the comments or send me a DM at Instagram at Shaka1277. Peace out.